Hello friends, we are going to draw a flow chart to reverse the given member. The logical start of the flow chart and obtaining input from the user in the variable n. I am initializing two variables r equal to 0, REV equal to 0. R to store the remainder, REV is to store the number reversed step by step. Next, I am checking relation statement if n greater than 0 if n greater than 0 is true what I am doing I am calculating that means there is r equal to n modulo operator 10. So what it will do? It will divide the, the value which is in the n by 10 and return the remainder in the variable r. I am calculating the reverse, the logical part. Reverse equal to reverse multiply with 10 plus the variable value in the variable r. Next, I am performing an integer division. n equal to n divided by 10. Next, this is an integer division n equal to n divided by 10. That means the fractional part will get omitted. I am joining it back to the relation statement. So, it will go until n greater than 0, it will go repeatedly. The, the loop will get iterated. Next, n greater than 0 false. False. In this case, I am printing, printing the value in the variable reverse and I am ending this flowchart with the logical end. So, star, I am obtaining input n from the user, initializing two variable r equal to 0, r e v equal to 0. If n greater than 0, true. In such case, I am calculating r equal to n mod row 10. So, n is divided by 10, the remainder is stored in the variable r. Next, the reverse r e v equal to reverse multiply with 10 plus r. Next, n equal to n divided by 0. This is an integer division. The fractional part will get, get omitted. This loop will iterate until n greater than 0 is true. Once n greater than 0 is false, means I will print the, the value in the variable REV and I am ending my flowchart. Now, we will take an example and check how this flowchart works. Here, start input n. For input n, I am giving the value 153. Initializing r equal to 0, 
R in equal to zero. R equal to zero. R in equal to zero. If n greater than zero, I am checking one fifty three greater than zero. This is true. Then remainder R equal to n modulo ten. R equal to one fifty three modulo ten. So what is the value? One fifty three modulo ten is three. The remainder is three. When you divide one fifty three by ten, the remainder is three. So three is stored in the variable R. Next reverse equal to reverse multiplied with ten plus R. R E V equal to what is the existing value of R E V, which is zero. Zero into ten plus three equal to three. Only R E V is equal to three. n equal to n by 10 in this integer division n equal to 153 divided by 10 15.3 point 3 meter meter that's why n is 15 so n equal to 153 divided by 10 so 15.3 fraction part per meter meter n is 15 now we'll check 15 greater than 0 15 greater than zero is true. Remainder R equal to 15 modulo 10. When you divide 15 by 10, the remainder is 5. Next, reverse equal to reverse multiplied with 10 plus R. So what is the value of reverse now? The reverse is 3. So reverse R V R V stands for reverse equal to the existing value of R V equal to 3. Multiply with ten plus the value in the R. So what is the value? Thirty plus five equal to thirty plus five equal to thirty-five. Now n equal to fifteen divided by ten. One point five integer division. Point five will get omitted. The value of n equal to one. Now I am checking one greater than zero. Which is true. Then I am calculating R equal to one modulo ten. So when I perform modulo operator, here one is lesser than ten. That should return the one only. R equal to one. Reverse. R E V equal to existing value of R E V is thirty five. Thirty five. Into ten plus one, which is equal to three fifty plus one equal to three fifty one. Three fifty one. Now I am calculating n equal to one divided by ten, which is zero point one. Integer division, the value is zero. Here zero greater than zero is false. Zero greater than zero is false. So this false case will print R E V. What is the value of R E V? Three fifty one. So three fifty one is my result. What I entered? I entered one fifty three. My result is three fifty one. So the reverse of one fifty three is three five one. So three five one is my result. The logic in the flow chart is working properly. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Please. subscribe to my channel share comment and press the bell button thank you